This is my dust collector. It is a Grizzly G0548Z, two horsepower, with the filter, what, one micron, whatever that, depleted filter on top, and plastic bags on the bottom. And it's got the six inch inlet that is branched into a three-way Y that each comes off at four inches. I've had this thing for probably seven or eight years now, and it's been a really great tool. It does have one problem. I'm going to show you what that is and how I'm going to fix it. First off though, since we will be working with the wiring, I'm going to disconnect the power. Here is the problem. The power switch is busted. It still works, but I don't really like using it as is because you'll notice that the off button is gone and to shut it off I have to reach in and push this little white thing which just makes me nervous because of how close my fingers are to unshielded wiring. This happened probably two or three years ago. I had a board that I was working on that was standing up next to the bandsaw and it slipped and fell and this is where it hit and shattered that. So I ordered a new switch box. I'll provide a link in the description to this specific box because it's actually kind of hard to find on their site. I had to email their tech support to find it. Here's the Here's the replacement switch box from Grizzly. You'll notice it doesn't have the screws in the corners. And I emailed Grizzly's tech support about that, and apparently this is how it's meant to, meant to ship. I thought maybe mine was just missing those, but it wasn't. They're just not included. But it's a 3.5 by 12 millimeter Phillips head. So just these little guys here, which you can pick up a three pack at Home Depot for like 60 cents. So not too bad. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want to do is take a picture of the wiring layout, which actually in this case should be fairly easy. White, green, black, white, green, black. So now I just got to get the old one off. I don't know how well it'll show, but the green cable isn't connected to the switch. It's actually grounded to a screw, a mounting screw holding the box to the body itself. So with this green wire here, I'm thinking that because it has this same uh, crimp on the end on this screw that was in there, I'm thinking that originally this was attached and plugged into the, screwed into the case as well, and that when this whole thing got broken, I just put it back on that center terminal. So I'm going to re-crimp that real quick. Getting this bottom screw in is a pain. I had to loosen the top one a little bit to get it in. Now that that one's tight, I'm gonna tighten the top one back up. Okay, so I have those mounting screws tightened which have the grounding wire attached, so now Get these last two spades connected. All right. Now 
think I've got that in good enough, so we'll put the switch cover on. Okay, it's all put back together, so now we can test it. Okay, we'll plug her back in. And let's see how we did. Well, it would appear we are back in business. I still need to replace the wireless remote control for this. I used to have a wireless receiver back there to turn this on and off, and it it died a little while ago. So still need to replace that before. I'm 100% back in business, but at least now I'm not worried I'm going to shock myself. Thanks for watching.